What up, everyone? I'm back from Gainesville and a terrible first week back at work. But since, <coughs> since you guys don't want to hear about like strep throat and gonorrhea cultures, let's play that reproduction card I showed you before I took off. This is East Five, Kefin, Lost Kingdom of Sand, or wait, wait, was it actually say on the card? Lost Kefin, Kingdom of Sand. <laughs> like this is the first time a game's title screen doesn't match the actual cover on the game. Oh well, as usual, we start out with Adol on a boat going God knows where. Yeah, I played some of this before I took off for Gainesville. Didn't exactly blow my balls off like the first time I booted up East 1 and 2 for the TurboGrafx CD. The Virtual Console version, of course. Or East 7 for the PSP, which was almost as good. <sighs> Oh shit, oh shit, prison guard's about to force me in a back alley and gang rape- Oh, oh, oh shit, that's right. Because of what's in the news, rape jokes aren't- Oh wait, well then again, rape jokes were never cool, to come to think of it, is it? My humblest apologies, everyone. At least I can play this in English now, I mean- <coughs> I know a lot of people who really like East must have tried to fumble and bumble through the Japanese text. <sighs> well, can't blame them. East games, they usually kick ass. Well, at least the ones I played before this kicked ass. This one, I don't know. I'm probably going to need to spend more time with it. Yeah, I... <coughs> Might as well get my money's worth for it. I mean, I paid $56 for this thing. That's what happens when you're allowed to splurge on a tax return check. And this isn't the only reproduction I bought with that. What else did I get? Well, I have this now, East 5, and I already had Dragon Quest 5. So, <coughs> went for the hat trick and got Final Fantasy 5. Which was... The best damn old school Final Fantasy ever. Yeah, yeah, I hear some of you out there thinking, oh no, Final Fantasy VI is back. Well, well, well fuck you. It, it, it's Final Fantasy V all the way. Less is more, bitches. And, and there was one other Super NES reproduction I bought. Uh, believe it or not, it was Sailor Moon Another Story. Yeah, 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 get your laughs in now, but... I played it on emulator and figured, eh, well, might as well get the real thing. <coughs> Mr. Yeah, probably the rich fuck who's clandestinely running the joint. Yeah, basically, to get money to buy supplies so you can go out and kill some shit, you gotta read a poster which tells about the, the legend of Kefin. And of course, Adol's reputation precedes him, and this rich fuck gets wind that he's in town and decides to offer him a job to go kill some shit and find stuff from the lost city, and I don't know. I said I <coughs> played some of it last week. I didn't really pay that much attention. It was literally just an hour or so before I had to take off. Okay, yeah, oh yeah, that's right. Adel's supposed to find more of these crystal things, which kind of smacks a Final Fantasy, old school Final Fantasy, now that I think about it. Yeah, yeah, I played through this part already. Yeah, alright. <coughs> now shit's gonna happen. Take care of what? Take care of my hemorrhoids? Okay, terrible joke. <coughs> but there's really not that much to talk about. I mean, it's a basic start to your standard action RPG of the 16-bit era. In fact, that was... <coughs> Sorry, I'm coughing so much. The main criticism I 
heard before buying this game that it really didn't feel like East, it just felt like any other Super NES action RPG in a poor man Zelda. No, I can kinda agree with that because, well... Uh, okay, this isn't the armor shop. Okay, that's probably an important plot point for later. Find the damn armor shop, get me a shield so I can... No, that's the end. Yeah, and this is also <coughs> one of those games where you can only save it at N. I hate that. Yes, Dragon Quest. I'm looking at you. But at least you get a quick save feature. Oh, God damn, where's this damn armor shop? Alright, there we go. But now I gotta loop around. No, no, what was I saying? Oh, oh yeah, this. I don't know, when I played East Book 1 and 2 for the first time, and <coughs> when I booted up East 7 on my PSP for the first time, there was, there, was a, there was a certain zip to it, a certain energy, and I felt really drawn into everything. But this, I don't know, this is going to take some time. Okay, Fluxstone, Equipment. By the way, don't bring this up with Start, you... Press X to bring it up. Alright. Large shield. Alright, this should be good. Hi-ho, hi-ho, to kick some fucking ass I go. No, not this way. What does this little kid have to say? If you go north of the field, you'll reach for us to village. Yeah, 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 I already heard it from the rich fuck. <coughs> and now, finally, some proper action. Now, unlike most East games, you don't just, like, run into them and, and shit like a, a better version of Hydlide. No, you actually gotta swing your sword this time. Alright, Y brings up your shield, B jumps, and A slashes. Skidoo! Yeah, I kind of get my ass kicked, but you level up <coughs> pretty quickly, and then enemies quickly become less of a bother. That's another complaint I heard about when I did my, some research for this game. That a lot of people felt it was way too easy, and in response, shortly afterward, Falcom released East 5 Expert, which was supposed to be significantly tougher. But unfortunately, that version doesn't have a translation or a reproduction, so I just said, ah, the hell with it, and I got this one. Now, come to think of this tune is a little catchy. I'm getting kind of in the zone here, but it just didn't pull me in like East 1 and 2 or East 7. Die, fucking spider, die. And of course, the East tradition, if you just chill out for a second, your life regenerates. How long have you been playing? Less than 10 minutes. Okay, we're good. I'll try to get to that town and shit. Yeah, but so far, this is... Don't get me wrong, I do like this game. It's fun, I'm glad I bought it, I'll go through the entire thing, but I'm kind of getting a Metroid Other M moment from that. And, and a Metroid Other M moment for me is different f than it is for most other people. Now, I liked Metroid Other M, I started a second game soon after beating it the first time, but I felt level layout and music was sorely lacking in that game. And those are usually the hallmarks of Metroid games. So that's kind of what I'm... 
kind of feeling here. But like I said, doesn't mean I'm not going to go through and beat the entire thing. Alright, I think I've reached the other town already. Foresta Village, yep. And everyone's scampering off as if I got, like, herpes or something. It's a monument with one of the village's legends engraved on it. And of course, when it's doing this kind of story bit, I can't scroll any faster. Uh, I shouldn't have even bothered reading this. I'm wasting a minute or two. Ah, oh, great. I'm thinking like a damn speedrunner. Sick of always seeing my brother watching that damn shit. So yeah, this is the game I spent 56 bucks on. Well, then again, I bought NES Bucky O'Hare for about that much money, and I, I didn't regret that. But what other reproductions are there out there that I could buy? Oh, you know what? You know that Godzilla game, Angry Video Gamer, talked about the one that was supposed to be released in America but got yanked at the last second? I've been looking for that. I, I, I mean, to see if they make reproductions of that. I mean... Simple little tournament fighting game. Eh, be interesting, but... <coughs> no, of course not. I'm sure, like, the that GameCube Xbox game, Destroy All Monsters Melee, is probably better, but... But still, classic Super NES style of, of fighter with Godzilla. Oh yeah, and once again, Adol travels to a land where there's a legend about a red-haired traveler and shit. I mean, how how many different times can this happen? It's like, how many times can <coughs> Dr. Robotnik dig up some super chaotic cosmic deity from the past to fuck shit up? Anyway, I kind of forget what I'm supposed to do here. So I'm just going to exit the city and just kill some more monsters as I yammer a bit more. Well, actually, what's what's my timer at? Uh, somewhere between 12 and 13 minutes. And, ooh, I already leveled up. Hey, is the shield any good? I've never actually tried to block it. Oh. Uh, I guess it works, sort of. Kind of like Zelda a Link to the Past, only you can fucking jump. And just like 2D Zelda games, no animation for walking diagonally. <laughs> Some things never change, I guess. Oh, well, that, no, that's going to be it for this week. I did get some games while I was in Gainesville, though. What'd I get? Uh, I got Gears of War, the original. I mean, here, that's like the third-person shooter equivalent of Halo for Microsoft System, so eh, eh, it was only four bucks, give it a try. I also found Terminator 3 for the original Xbox. That's supposed to be really, really shitty, so... Hey, that make, might make a good review down the line. Oh, and speaking of... Oh, yeah, but Terminator 3 was a good movie. And I just... I also found a game based on a rather mediocre movie that other people hate it a lot more. Little Mermaid 2 for the PlayStation. I've never played that. I don't think there's any reviews for it online when I try to check for information, so that'll be interesting. Maybe that'll be next week's video where I just play that blind and see what I get. Ooh, and... Speaking of Little Mermaid, here we have Sebastian Surly Cousins.